I like motion graphics, you like motion graphics, we're all here to talk about motion graphics. So in this video, we're gonna talk about creating flash accent motion graphics along with reviewing one awesome pack which has 1,000 flash-based motion graphics that you can apply to any After Effects project. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. now. We do a lot of motion graphics on this channel, and today specifically I want to quickly run through creating flash accent motion graphics to help you enhance your title work or any other After Effects project file. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, so creating flash effects is very easy to do. So what we can do is come here to the top and grab any shape. And I'll come here and I'll draw out a very skinny rectangle like this. And what I'll do here is go into the contents, go into the rectangle one, go to the rectangle transform one, and then I'll add a keyframe for position and I'll move this all the way over to the left side of our composition right off frame. Move forward in the timeline by a second and I'll move this over to the right side of our composition right off frame. So now we'll get this animation going by like so. Very cool. Then what we'll do here is I'll grab our rectangle and I'll go up to edit duplicate and I'll just hit P on my keyboard for position and I can just move this down and we can always resize it if, as we see fit and I'll duplicate this again. Uh, bring this one down, duplicate it, and just start repositioning these. Then what I'll do here is offset these in time by just moving them around in the composition. So now we'll have these lines going by like this. And then what we'll do here is grab all of our shape layers and we'll go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call these shapes. And then we'll go up to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab turbulent displace. We're gonna set the displacement to turbulent smoother. We'll come here to the size, increase this to maybe like 150 or so. And we'll come here and increase the amount to maybe like one, you know, 20-ish. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and add a keyframe for evolution at the beginning of our timeline. And we'll move forward to the end of our animation and we'll set this to like 2x. And then let's also add a keyframe for amount and move forward and maybe bring down the amount by a little bit. So this will give us a little bit more, you know, animation in here. And now we'll go ahead and add our glow effect. So now we'll go to effect stylize glow. So let's come here to color glows where it says original colors and set to A and B colors. Let's go here to color A and let's select a cool color here. And then I'll go ahead to color B, select that same color that we just added and maybe do like a variant of the color. Let's come here to the glow radius and increase that to maybe like 50 to 70. Increase the glow intensity by a touch and we'll bring down the glow threshold to about like 20%. Then I'm going to come here and duplicate this effect and we'll increase the glow radius to about like 200 and I'll increase the glow intensity by a touch. And here's currently what we have and of course you can add any other type of shape to this. Like so for example here I have this circle that just implodes on itself and we go back into our main composition. And now with the added effects, you can see that any shape can look great for this sort of effect. So there's so many different ways to create flash effects, but one pack I want to take a look at is called RTFX, which has 1,000 motion graphic elements, ranging from so many different types of categories, and it comes with its own user interface within inside of After Effects. So one category is called electricity, um, and we have we have you know energy category, we have explosions, uh, fire flash liquid and we have so many categories in this pack and we can easily preview these within after effects so let's say we want to add some energy to our composition all we have to do is preview it inside of our user interface double click it and it will automatically import it into your composition and just within one click we've been able to add one awesome element to our composition and we can continue to expand on this so say we want to add some fire to this we can easily do that you know just move this correctly in place where you want to put it and very cool now we have our fire in here we can add a quick explosion and now we have a really cool title composition just with these three effects that we added within just a matter of like 30 seconds or so now of course there's more to this pack than just you know hundreds of effects elements we also have multiple categories like transitions uh, that we can add to reveal a scene or what have you you also get typography and logo reveals so that is really awesome and one thing we could do to help enhance this current composition is taking a look at the many backgrounds that are available to us. So there's a ton of motion graphic backgrounds in here. And now with our background and all of our assets, you can literally just take a simple composition with a title and enhance it just really quick. And that's really what's cool about RT effects with 1000 motion graphics in here, mostly with these awesome, 
you know, cartoony explosions and quick, you know, flash accents. And if you want to learn more about this pack and how you can quickly enhance your compositions and get some really cool ideas and check out all the elements in this pack, you can check the links in the video description and I'll take you right over to the 1000 FX pack RT FX. And overall, this is a really cool pack to have if you're into these cartoon effects. It doesn't have to just be used with motion graphics. You can also composite this with live action, you know, footage if you're trying to throw, you know, a cartoony emphasis on something specific within your footage. So that concludes our tutorial and review today. And remember, you can check our links in the description if you want to learn more about the RT effects, which are really awesome. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.